Hello everyone, for a long time I have been planning to take a close look at high voltage devices, but somehow I could not do it, and today, finally, I want to build a powerful high voltage generator. And then with the help of this high voltage generator, I will assemble several more interesting devices. If you want to see what happens, then subscribe to the Invex Lab channel. Here we go. First of all, you will need two resistors at 470 ohms each. I didn't have any of these available, so I'll connect them two resistors at 330 and 150 ohms. Connected in series. Also, I will immediately solder suppressors to the resistances, that is, protective diodes. I decided to assemble this scheme by hanging, and then, when it is finalized and verified, it can be transferred to the printed circuit board. What is this circuit of a high voltage generator? In fact, it is a two-stroke auto generator converter. A distinctive feature of this scheme is its simplicity but at the same time a large output power. The transistors in this circuit should not get very hot, but just in case, I will fix them on small radiators. Now I will solder this entire structure to the IRF 250 field effect transistors. It turns out that this is an interesting design, and here I have to solder the diodes. Well, the scheme itself is ready, now it remains to wind the throttle and winding on the FBT. In order to wind the winding on the FBT, you will need a wire with a diameter of 2 mm. Unfortunately, I did not have such a wire in stock, but I found this copper tube, which has an outer diameter of only 2 mm, but the problem is that it is without insulation. As insulation, you can use a shrink tube. The heat shrink tubing? Yes. Choose the right diameter. Put it on the tube and I think everything will work perfectly. This is a good option and now I will try to do it. So, a shrink tube with a diameter of 3 mm, and it just fits perfectly with this copper tube. Thus, you need to make 12 turns with the output from the middle point.
Another important detail to this scheme is the throttle, which is wound on a ferrite ring and contains about 50 turns of wire with a diameter of 1.5 millimeters. I didn't find a suitable ferrite ring, so I'll have to replace it with something. A ferrite ring, of course, would be better used for winding the throttle, but it can be replaced with a half core from FPT, wind it up and everything will work. I agree, it's not a bad idea, I'll do it now. So, the high voltage generator is ready, this is how it looks to me. Supply voltage of this generator it is 36 volts of course, you can supply less voltage, but then the output power will be less. And now the most interesting thing it's time to check it out. The arc is very powerful and long. The transistors are not heated at all. The FPT and especially the capacitor are noticeably hot. With this high voltage generator, you can easily make a plasma ball. Near this generator, fluorescent lamps are lit. Also, as a test, I want to connect a voltage multiplier to this generator. The generator turned out to be really cool and powerful. Judging by the discharges, the voltage reaches 100 or 120 thousands of volts. The high voltage generator turned out to be quite powerful and the most important thing is that it works stably. That is, the basis for further experiments with high voltage is ready. If you like this video, then like it and subscribe to the Invex Lab channel so that you don't miss new videos with experiments, including experiments with high voltage. That's it, I thank you for watching and bye.